Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I want to do a gun review for the CCR Honey Badger. The CCR Honey Badger got added with the last Anubis update and is a new random box weapon that is available in both version in a normal version and in a gold version. The reason why I'm doing this video is many people ask me for a gun review for this gun. Because the stats looks lim really similar to Nexar LPDV and some people asked me is it a sensible invention that we uh, that they can invest in these random boxes. So I try to answer this question in this video. If you should buy the random box is it worth to buy it or should you let it be? Some people are maybe doesn't know how they can get this weapon. This weapon you can get in the random boxes, the first random box costs 2700 Warface dollars. If you don't have Warface dollars, you have now another option. You can spend some credits in the auction house for it. There you can get a normal uh, CCR Honey Badger or a golden version of the CCR Honey Badger. Uh, I saw it in the last time, so my experience says that if you try to get a normal Honey Badger, you pay around 400 till 1000 credits. If you want to buy a golden version of the CCR Roddy Badger, you need to spend a little bit more. Uh, then we are on a price of around 5000 credits, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. You just keep, need to keep your eyes open and watch for the best offers. But the question is now, is it a good weapon and is it worth to buy it? Let's have a look at the stats. We see here it has a damage of 75. This is a normal uh, thing for all engineer guns. This is, yeah, in the middle some uh, some engineer guns has a higher damage, some engineer guns has less damage, but it's, it's in the middle. If you see the range is 11, this is quite good. Not the best, not the worst, so also a nice thing. The RPM is 750 and this is definitely high. Uh, if we compare it with the XRL PDB we see here it has 20 more RPM than the XRL PW. Now if we see the aim accuracy we see 31. This is also a normal stat for this gun, for all engineer guns and there is nothing to discuss about. Tip accuracy is 20 and this is also something really good. We see here this circle is really small and it makes it easy to kill the enemies without using the scope. When we shoot without using the scope we have a good uh, situation on close quarters then we can shoot without the scope and then we are definitely on the better side. If you are shooting without any scope with this little circle it's much easier to aim on the heads. Now many people ask me if they have already the XRL PDV, is it worth then to buy the Honey Badger because the stats are really com the same. So let's see here what are exactly the difference. We see with the red stripe we have the stats of the Honey Badger and with the white stripe we have the stats of the XRL PDV. We see here first it has a damage of 75 and the XRL has a damage of 80. So the XRL has more damage. If you see the range there is the Honey Badger better with 11, XRL has only 9.5. This is still good. The RPM are also nearly the same. Uh, Honey Badger has more, it has 20 more. But this 20 more bullets that you can shoot in the middle, you feel this, but it doesn't uh, make you to win a close quarters battle. The aim accuracy is both 31 and the hip accuracy is both 20. Also the clip size is the same. We have the clip size of 30. If you are using the golden version, we have the clip size of 35. This is something better and you feel this 5 more bullets. But this five more bullets makes the golden version not OP. No one, no one will will win versus you because he's using the gold version. These five bullets are useful when there is one more, uh, free, like three enemies. You may not need to reload your gun and can shoot him. But in a one versus one situation, no one will will win because he is using the golden version. Overall, we can say these weapons are really similar, but. 
if you have already a XRL PDB and you maybe don't have such many Warface dollars, then keep your hands on the XRL and save some Warface dollars and then probably later buy, try to buy the CCR Honey Badger. I think both guns are the same good, they are no necessarily difference in it. I think for people who aim exactly on heads, they are maybe a little bit better with the XRL. But for close quarter situation, we are definitely better with the Honey Badger. Also a good thing on the Honey Badger is the silencer that doesn't remove any damage. Now the question is, how is the recoil? Let if we go in the safe house now, we see the recoil goes, goes straightly up and with the last 10 bullets it goes a little bit to the left side. This is really easy to compare. We can learn this really good. With the last five, with the last 10 bullets, we put the mouse a little bit on the right side and we com can compare this recoil quite good. But anyway, if you are shooting on an enemy, I don't think you need a whole magazine for him. So you probably don't get in one of these situations. But overall the recoil is really easy to control and if you play sometimes with the weapons, with this weapon, you can learn it really fast. Overall we can say the CCR Honey Badger is a really good gun for engineers. I think it's worth to buy this weapon. As I've already said, if you need to save your Wolf Installers and you already have their X or LPDB, then you may shouldn't spend your money on the Honey Badger because they are necessarily the same guns. But if you want to try some more engineer guns, if you often play engineer, then it's definitely worth to buy this gun. Also now with the auction house, you don't need to be afraid that you maybe waste all your money because you can buy it really cheap in the auction house for some credits. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I could help you with the choice if you should spend some money on this gun or should or if you let it be as always guys thanks you for watching and we see us in my next video